Hello and welcome. My name is Ted and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about breathing. Um, we'll go through some breathing exercises that will help you to be able to relax and we'll follow that with an exercise where we will relax the whole body in a guided relaxation. So first, a little bit about breathing. It's a very important element of life. In fact, it's one of the most important things about living. Because if you don't breathe, you don't live. Your body dies if, without breath. So, breathing is a very important thing that we all do very naturally. We don't even have to think about it. There's three main types of breathing that we do in the body. The first is deep breathing, which is breathing in the abdomen. The second is middle breathing, it's chest breathing, where we breathe into the chest and the rib cage. And the third type of breathing is breath in the clavicle area, which is a very shallow type of breathing. Most of us, most of the people every day tend not to breathe very deeply when we're sitting on a bus, when we're sitting doing activities, watching television, not physical activities, but just resting. We tend to often breathe into our chest and our clavicle, very shallow breathing, for very many reasons. Uh, a lot of people are trained, conditioned to hold the stomach in all the time so that they can have that look that they want, big chest, small waist. The other reason is stress. When we get stressed, we hold a lot of tension in the abdominal area, in the solar plexus area. So when we feel stress, when we feel anxiety, tension, mental and physical, we tend not to relax in the abdomen. And so as a result, we tend not to breathe very deeply. So today I wanted to focus mostly on the abdominal breathing um, in order to allow you to relax. Relaxation is a very important thing as well in life because it allows you to recharge your energy. Every night we go to sleep, we relax, we fall asleep. The next morning we wake up and we have enough energy for the day. When we get stressed, when we have tension, when we have physical pain, physical anxiety, then we use up a lot of energy, a lot of mental energy, a lot of physical energy. So. When we learn to relax, we learn to conserve that energy so that we don't use it up, being stressed, being tense, anxiety. So we have more energy for the day. You'll notice that if you get very stressed, sometimes if you get stressed in the morning, you don't have enough energy to get you through the day and you get tired. So if you learn to relax, especially through meditation or relaxing uh, exercises, breathing exercises, then you'll learn to conserve your energy and take that energy through your day and have a more productive day. So, breathing, abdominal breathing. This is an exercise we can do, you can either do it lying down or sitting in a chair. But if you're sitting in a chair, it's very important that you find a chair that's comfortable and when you sit in the chair, that you keep the back straight, making sure that you're sitting upright and so that the back is straight and the abdomen can relax and that the chest is open so that you can breathe and the energy can flow. So more sitting like this way rather sitting like this way because we want to we want to work into the abdomen so if you sit like this there's not much space but if you have the body upright then there's space to breathe. So find yourself in a chair that's comfortable sitting nice and tall, the shoulders relaxed, or lying down on the floor, which is what I recommend, it's a little bit more comfortable. So find yourself in a space where you can lie down on the floor, on your back, in a position we call Savasana in yoga, in Sanskrit. So just lying down, with your legs apart, the arms apart, the shoulders and the face relaxed. 
And then just start to observe your breath. Close the eyes gently. And then just start to observe the breath in the body. Not worrying about if it's deep or shallow. Just watch how you breathe. Are you breathing short? Are you breathing quickly? Are you breathing long? Are you holding the exhale a long time? Are you holding the inhale a long time? Is it rhythmic? All these different factors you can observe the breath. Now I'd like you to take a nice deep breath. Fill the lungs all the way up to your maximum. And then exhale, release. Take another nice deep, deep breath. And exhale. Inhale again fully. And nice long, slow exhalation. Now place your hands onto your abdomen, both hands together, and place the fingers just touching each other on the abdomen. So your hands are just relaxed somewhere around your midsection where the belly button resides. And then just as you inhale, continue to observe the breath. Watch the breath come in and watch the breath leave the body. Now on the next inhalation, I'd like you to expand the abdomen. So as you inhale, press the stomach up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, allow the abdomen to fall down towards the floor. Inhale, expand the abdomen. Exhale, allow the abdomen to fall. Notice how the hands want to move upwards and the fingers separate as you inhale, pressing the abdomen up. And as you exhale, allow the abdomen to fall. Imagine that in your stomach it's like a big balloon. Inhale, expand the abdomen. Exhale, the abdomen falls. Notice that as you inhale deeply into the abdomen, the abdomen expands. And then as you exhale, the abdomen contracts. Continue this breathing at a comfortable pace, observing the abdomen expand and the abdomen contract as you inhale and as you exhale. Now continuing with this abdominal breath, I want you to inhale for a count of three seconds and exhale for a count of six seconds. So first, just take a nice deep inhale, expand the abdomen. Exhale, contract the abdomen down. Now inhale for a count of one, two, three. Exhale, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Inhale. One, two, three. 
Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now inhale, deeply expand the whole body, the abdomen, the chest, breathing as deeply as you can. Now exhale, relax the whole body as you allow the abdomen, the chest to contract. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. Now we'll take you through a guided relaxation. This is a technique taught by the Shivananda, uh, tradition of yoga, to relax the whole body. So again, lying on the floor, just stay lying down in the position that you're in. Laying in a position called Savasana in yoga, Sanskrit, dead body pose, relaxed body, the legs apart, the arms apart, the face and head relaxed. Now gently lift your right leg up a couple of inches off the floor, just a couple of inches, tense the leg, point the toe, and then let it drop to the floor. Lift the left leg up off the floor, just a couple of inches, tense the leg, and let it drop. Squeeze the buttocks, lift the hips up off the floor, and tense, lift the hips up, and drop. Squeeze the chest up off the floor, squeeze the shoulder blades together, the chest up, 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 tense, and drop. Shrug the shoulders up towards the ears, squeeze the shoulders, tense the shoulders, and release. Lift the arms up off the floor a couple of inches, make fists with the hands, squeeze the hands, clench them, then open the fingers wide, stretch the arms, stretch, and drop. Gently turn the head to the right, keeping the head on the floor. Turn the head to the left. And bring the head back to center. Now squeeze all the muscles in the face in towards the nose. Make a sour lemon face. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Then open the eyes. Open the mouth. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath. And now exhale. Stick the tongue out. Now find yourself in a position that's comfortable and we'll go through a guided relaxation through each body part using the technique of auto-suggestion to relax the body. So first in your mind visualize the feet, visualize the toes and the ankles and then repeat in your mind I relax my toes, I relax my ankles, my toes, my ankles are relaxed. I relax my shins, I relax my calf muscles, my shins, my calf muscles are relaxed. I relax my knees, I relax my thighs, 
my knees and my thighs are relaxed. I relax my hips, I relax my abdomen. My hips and my abdomen are relaxed. I relax my lower back, my middle back, and my upper back. My lower back, my middle back, and upper back are relaxed. I relax my abdomen and I relax my chest. My abdomen and chest are relaxed. I relax my shoulders. I relax my clavicle. My shoulders and my clavicle are relaxed. I relax my upper arms and forearms. My upper arms and forearms are relaxed. I relax my wrists and my hands. My wrists and my hands are relaxed. I relax my neck and my jaw. My neck and my jaw are relaxed. I relax my cheeks, I relax my tongue, I relax my nose, my ears, my eyes, my eyelids, my forehead and brow. My whole face and head is relaxed. My whole body is relaxed. My whole body is relaxed. My whole body is relaxed. I continue to observe the breath as I inhale, my abdomen rises from the floor. And as I exhale, my abdomen falls to the floor. I invite you to continue with this relaxation exercise, staying on the floor for as long as you want to. Relaxed body, relaxed mind. I thank you for allowing me to take you through these exercises and I hope to see you again. My name is Ted. I operate yoga studio in Hove called Yoga Palmyra, and I invite you to practice online with me or in person when the time is right. Namaste.